In this video, we're going to break down the five most common reasons your car won't go into reverse, from the simple and cheap fixes to the more serious issues. We'll cover both automatic and manual transmissions, and I'll give you a ballpark cost for each repair. Let's get into it. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on more car maintenance tips. Now, all right, let's break down these culprits, from the simple to the more serious. How Reverse Gear Works Understanding how reverse gear functions is essential for diagnosing potential issues. Reverse gear operates distinctly from forward gears in both manual and automatic transmissions, utilizing its own set of components and pathways. In automatic transmissions, reverse gear is activated through specific clutch packs, bands, and hydraulic circuits that are not engaged during forward driving. When you shift into reverse, the transmission control module expertly directs hydraulic pressure to engage these reverse-specific components. If any part of this system fails, you'll lose the ability to reverse, but forward gears will continue to operate normally. Manual transmissions follow a similar principle, employing mechanical linkages instead of hydraulic systems. The reverse gear is typically mounted on its own shaft and engages through a separate pathway than the forward gears. This is why you might notice a slight grinding noise when shifting into reverse in some manual vehicles. Many transmissions lack a synchronizer for reverse, making it unique. This distinct design explains why reverse gear can fail independently. The bottom line? Losing the capability to reverse doesn't mean your entire transmission is in trouble. Numerous reverse-specific issues can be fixed, without the need for a complete rebuild of the unit. Causes of a car that won't reverse, but will go forward. Number one, low transmission fluid. One of the most common reasons for a car's reverse gear to fail, and fortunately, one of the easiest and least expensive to fix, is low transmission fluid. Automatic transmissions rely on hydraulic pressure to engage the gears, and reverse typically requires the highest pressure of all the gears. When the fluid level is low, the transmission pump cannot generate enough pressure to fully engage the reverse clutch packs or bands. As a result, your vehicle may hesitate before shifting into reverse, produce a whining noise, or refuse to back up entirely. In contrast, forward gears usually continue to function because they require less hydraulic pressure to operate. To check your transmission fluid, ensure the engine is running and warmed up. The fluid level should be between the add and full marks, and in most cases, should appear bright red or pink. If the fluid is dark or has a burnt smell, this could indicate more significant problems. Cost to fix. Topping off the fluid is typically a simple task and can cost between $10 and $50, depending on how much fluid is needed. However, if there is a leak causing the low fluid level, you can expect to pay between $100 and $400 for common seal replacements. Number 2. Clogged Transmission Filter The transmission filter plays a crucial role in keeping debris and contaminants out of the hydraulic system. However, over time, it can become clogged with metal particles and burnt fluid residue. Since reverse gear requires the highest hydraulic pressure, a partially blocked filter often affects reverse gear first while leaving forward gears functioning normally. Signs of a clogged filter include delayed engagement when shifting into reverse, slipping while backing up, or complete failure to engage in reverse. You might also experience rough shifting in forward gears, particularly during hard acceleration. This problem typically becomes worse when the transmission is cold. Clogged filters are more common in high mileage vehicles or those that have not undergone regular transmission servicing, as the filter has to work harder when the fluid deteriorates over time. Cost to fix. Replacing a transmission filter typically costs between $50 
and $150 for the filter and fluid, plus an additional $100 to $200 for labor, depending on the complexity of your vehicle. Number 3. Worn Shift Linkage Shark Cable The shift linkage or cable connects your gear selector to the transmission itself. Over time, these components can stretch, bind, or break, preventing proper gear engagement. In manual transmissions, worn linkage might let you move the shifter into reverse position without actually engaging the gear. In automatics, a stretched cable can prevent the transmission from receiving the full reverse signal. Symptoms like difficulty shifting into other gears, the shifter feeling loose or sloppy, or the gear indicator not matching your actual gear position may also be present. Sometimes jiggling the shifter or applying extra pressure helps temporarily. This problem is most common in higher mileage vehicles and can develop gradually over time. Cost to fix Shift linkage adjustments cost $100 to $200, while cable or linkage replacement typically runs $150 to $300, including labor. Number 4. Faulty Shift Solenoid – Automatic Automatic transmissions use electronic solenoids to direct hydraulic fluid to the right places for gear changes. The reverse solenoid controls fluid flow to the reverse clutch packs and bands. When this solenoid fails, it can't send fluid where it needs to go. A bad reverse solenoid often triggers a check engine light and stores diagnostic trouble codes. You might experience harsh shifting into reverse when it still works, or complete reverse failure. Sometimes the problem is intermittent, working fine when cold, but failing when the transmission warms up. Solenoids can fail electrically, broken wiring or coil, or mechanically, stuck valve or debris. Cost to fix. Replacing a shift solenoid typically costs $150 to $400, though accessing it may require removing the transmission pan, adding to labor costs. Number 5. Valve Body Problems Automatic. The valve body is the brain of your automatic transmission containing a maze of valves, springs, and passages that direct hydraulic fluid to the right places. When reverse-specific valves stick or fail, you lose reverse gear while forward gears continue working normally. Common valve body problems include stuck reverse valves, worn valve bore surfaces, or damaged separator plates. You might experience delayed reverse engagement, slipping while backing up, or harsh reverse shifts before complete failure. Sometimes the problem is intermittent, working fine when cold, but failing when hot. Valve body issues often develop gradually and may be accompanied by erratic shifting patterns in forward gears. The problem typically gets worse over time without repair. Cost to fix. Valve body repair or replacement ranges from 400 to $1,200, depending on whether individual valves can be cleaned or the entire unit needs replacement. I hope this video helped demystify this frustrating problem. If it did, hit that like button and subscribe for more straightforward car repair guides. And if you've ever had this issue, drop a comment below and let us know what the cause was.